It's Wednesday and welcome to our interactive session here on the Joy News Channel. We are live from digital address GA0992539 in Kokomemli, Accra on DSTV Channel 421 and GoTV Channel 144. The show is Joy News Interactive and our social media handles for Facebook, Twitter and Instagram is Joy News on TV. My name is Selina Ampo. Today we kickstart our show with a conversation on the wager ridge. There's a worrying report of a looming doom on hovering around the wager Kaswa ridge. That danger appears to threaten over 5,000 residents living around that area, which is on the banks of the wager dam in the Gans South municipality, Greater Accra region. What is more is that tons of sand and rocks have been ripped away by diggers, excavators and bulldozers to provide concrete products to sell for prospective buyers. Let's take a look at this report filed by Maxwell Akbapa. The Director of Intersectorial Mining Division at the Environmental Protection Agency, Ransford Sechi, is worried and warns that the ridge could collapse any time. The fear is that if something is not done, something meaning stabilization of the ridge is not done, there is a potential of this whole thing collapsing to destroy all the properties down this ridge and also to block the entire western corridor uh, uh, with the, the mud that would, would maybe happen. We should not wait for disaster to strike before we take action. The once beautiful lush and greenery um, on this ridge has given way um, to this brown patch. What we have here is one of the biggest galleys on the Wager Kaswa Ridge, a disaster waiting to happen. Months ago, when we visited the ridge, we saw the devastation caused by quarrying activities and the felling of trees. The vegetative cover had been completely removed, making it easy for the flat water to wash down the silt downstream. The results, deep gullies have developed under many buildings, with some structures hanging dangerously. Our latest visit showed how the recent rains have further aggravated the woes of residents. Chief, uh, okay, Chief, what's your name? My name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel Adai has been living at the Wager Ridge for 11 years. He fears the ridge, which is now mainly clay, could tumble down after heavy rains. This moment, the, 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 this moment, how the, this place becomes, it, it worries we people living here. Because of the erosions. Because the, first, this place was not gritted. This is, this, this place will be flat land. And it's, it's covered by grasses. So now they keep all the grasses off because of the, taking the gravels. That's why we are disturbed for this area. So as we stay here itself, we are afraid. We are afraid, seriously. Because anything at all can happen to us. We want him to come and look at here and solve our problems for us. Okay. Yes. Okay. When we got to the top, about five inscriptions, quote, keep off, danger zone, no development. Ironically, there's another sign advertising an available land for sale on the ridge. I've now met Sharon Jajeto, who lives with her mother and grandmother on the ridge. She says walking on it feels like a quicksand, adding it is terrifying anytime it rains. Anytime it rains, we get sad because when it rains, the land will be soft and smooth. That is why you have to be afraid of this land. Like that, even though our place, a big hole is there, when it rains, the land becomes so softer that we can't work on it. Engineer Daniel Sowa works with the Gas South Municipal Assembly. He says there are plans to demolish unauthorized structures on the land and also reclaim part of it. That part of the of 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 Accra, I should say, 
it's an area where some years back it was given as a, a place for you know Sonitra to take material there to construct the Legon Road. As a matter of fact, after they have uh, taken the material away to construct the road, the place was left in the state where we are now. And as a result of that, any time the rain comes, it washes the silt on the road and creates the, I mean, the mess that we all see over there. One of the solution I was given was that we need to green the area, we need to grass the area because, you know, grass would hold the, the silt from descending. So at the end of the day, it's only the water that comes. And if the water comes, the water can go to the galleys. So a decision was, a recommendation was given as, I mean, for, for, that, for, the, for reclaiming of that portion of the land and grassing the, the, the place. And uh, uh, it was sent to the minister. I'm sure he's receiving an attention, which, because the situation there now has reached its alarming state. We are sitting on the time bomb, and uh, any, any landslide can happen over there because the erosion is keep on coming. If you buy a land there, you throw your money away. Because now the place is a security zone. Those who are staying there, I mean, some of the buildings are going to go up. We are going to have a massive demolition over there. Okay. Yeah. So Let's take a short breather and we will be back after this. Welcome back from that short break. You're still watching Joy News Interactive with me, Selina Ampo. Now let's go back to that wager story and read some reactions on Facebook to that story. And we have Abdul Hamid who says the government should also construct underground tunnels because these small gutters by the roadside isn't going to help. And Yusuf Hamid says, are the happenings in Ghana really a disaster? Because it seems they can be foreseen, unlike a disaster which is unforeseen. And Aliu Mahama says, abide by rules and regulations. He's telling us to abide by If we want to prevent any disaster from the rich, we should abide by rules and regulations. And Abdul Hamid again says, we, we the citizens need to change our attitude. Oh, okay, so he's talking about waste. He said people carry waste from their homes and dump them on, by the roadside and gutters. This indiscipline must stop. Welcome back. And let's talk about the president. You remember yesterday we were talking about Nanado. President Anakufado has finally, finally commented on the, the flooding incident that happened last two weeks after criticisms from Ghanaians following his quick commiserations of what happened to the Notre Dame Cathedral fire. Following the widespread backlash, the president acknowledged that the deaths and the result that resulted from the recent flooding incident in a series of tweets, and he said, oh, Charlie, He's sorry, but he's, his heart goes out to those 12 people. And that's his tweet. He says, the news of the death of 12 persons in the recent flooding that hit our nation's capital is very sad. My sincere condolences to the families of the deceased. He also noted that the government is putting some interventions to counter the flooding that claimed the lives. Let's show those tweets. And he says, beyond addressing the issues of the infrastructure, our attitude towards sanitation have to change as well in order to help us tackle the problem of the perennial flooding of Accra. Every effort is being made by the public authorities to deal with this problem. And let's take some comments that came after he put out those tweets. And Mike Ajiman says, yeah, 197 million released for another ad hoc solution. How long can we continue to waste money on these ad hoc measures? It is perennial people queue at 3 a.m. 
to vote for leaders to find solutions to these kinds of problems, but not to build a cathedral. Lives are lost yearly. So this is the tweet that um, Ajiman is reacting to. He says, this is a tweet by Nana Kufado, which says, 197 million Ghana City has been released to the Ministry of Works and Housing to desilt choke drains. The contracts for the works have been awarded and are ongoing. And Agochopi says, I never knew France news gets to Ghana faster than the news from Ashaman and Sakaman and Odona. Ghana to France, short distance relationship. Ghana to Ashaman, Sakaman and Odona, long distance relationship. And Nanaya says, Dear Mr. President, as a concerned citizen, our great nation, I believe, there should be a tax force deployed to monitor and fine or arrest anyone caught in the act of littering our beautiful country. You know, on Wednesdays, we always bring you wise words from everybody. Let's hop onto Twitter to find out what people are saying about Wednesday wisdom. And we have Priyanka who says, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Hashtag Wednesday wisdom. And Angela Brown says, hashtag Wednesday Wisdom. If you can imagine a solution, you can make it happen. This is a quote from Jay Summit. And Anvil says, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. This is a quote from Maya Angelou. Hashtag Wednesday Wisdom. Hashtag Music. And Secret Self says, don't count the days, make the days count. Hashtag Wednesday Wisdom, hashtag Wednesday Motivation. And it comes with an image that says, tomorrow it will be more valuable. And Alice says, the times when we don't think we are worthy of love may actually be the times when we are most worthy of it. Certainly, they are the times when we need it most. Hashtag Wednesday Wisdom. And this is a tweet from Starter that reads, Take what interests and knowledge you can from books, but do not let them replace words and thoughts of your own. Hashtag Wednesday Wisdom. And this is from Susan, who says, don't let pain define you, let it refine you. This is a quote from Tim Fargo, hashtag quotes, hashtag Wednesday Wisdom. And Coffee Queen says, sometimes you just have to ignore them. It's 2019, we don't have time for mosquitoes. We out here drinking water, hello, great skin, eating what we want and making bank. Hashtag Wednesday Wisdom, hashtag Wednesday thoughts. So it's time for us to take some of the Facebook comments and Twitter comments just to see what people had to say about the games after 
the games. Let's see. And we have Abdul Nasir who says, help the Madrid fans who followed Ronaldo to Juventus. They were stuck between Spain and Spain and Italy border. And this is a tweet from Michael who says, if Juventus qualified last night everywhere, he single-handedly did it. But now Ronaldo FC are saying Juventus is an average team. Accept your L, Messi sit Ballon d'Or. And David says, United were no match to Barca. United were so ordinary. And Seth Ejanim says, Ajax went to Madrid home and beat them 4-1. to one. And people said because of the absence of C. Ronaldo. So what Ajax did was to look for a club with the presence of C. Ro and still beat them in their home. And Joseph says, my team of the year, Ajax, we true football loving fans deserve a final match featuring Ajax with either Barca or Liverpool. That the real, they are the real team, giving the fans the excitement in the competition this year. And we have X who says, Ronaldo fans, suddenly remember football isn't an individual sport. I love this game. This is where we bring our show to an end. You've been watching Joy News Interactive with me, Selina Ampo. Goodbye for now.